there's a lot to get into. Typical end of season review and taking a look at transfers for the upcoming season, which I still have to do. So let's see what DeGroff Shop does this year. Let's jump into it right after the intro and we'll take a look at the end of season review. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 40, Football Manager 21. This is our single team climbing the ladder save with the Graf Shop up the orange in the Netherlands, Arita VC. We finished 7th last season, 58 points out of 34 games, making headway, climbing it up slowly, but still looking to crack that top 5 and get into some Europe Ah, it seems like we'll never get there. Well, let's take a look at the season review. Harry Dykes was our backup goalkeeper that came in. C-plus grade, only two appearances. Adrian Delcroix, mid-season pickup, our new number one from Antwerp. 20 starts, a 7.05 rating, and a C-grade. Redeem Samir. Ended up with an A-plus grade. Uh, Delcroix, they said, was signing of the season. Samir started 28 games, four goals, one assist, and became a starting center back at 18. I'm thinking that might be the signing of the season. Marion Sedelak was a loney. Elvis Barisic, uh, we got a C-plus grade on him, 36 starts. David Sebastian, another loney. Calvin Grutunk. Uh, new midfielder, A plus grade, 4.29 million, uh, five assists in the midfield after he came on in the midseason, and uh, spent a little time injured, unfortunately. Outgoing moves: Greg Gregory Ulgen, a winger; Convalius, don't even remember half of these guys. Attila Pater never made the club; uh, he was 23. Christian Suk, 31 year old forward, he went off. C grade Timothy Stretoslav. Uh we you know we hated to lose him. You know, he was a guy that we've had with us for a little while. Same with Albert Reniers, but we got uh, you know C minus grade. So yeah, a loss. And Steven Van Zest, 29 year old winger. Mitchell Quasi, they did not like us getting rid of him, but we picked up almost two million dollars. Uh Kuznetov. Uh, let's see, and again, that was due to a loss. Jean-Christophe Blom, a million and a half. C grade on that. Victor Horvath, 702,000. The big one that we really hated was Alberto Case, but it was a $23 million deal, and they feel we could have gotten a higher fee. Well, that was his release clause, so technically, no, we couldn't. I wish the board would read the fine print on the contracts. Uh, Anisic. I wish we could have gotten more for him, but in fact, now I wish we would have maybe kept him when, when we lost all of our other uh, keepers. Uh, Diallo, a C grade on him. Slot Boom, C plus grade on, on moving him on. Uh, anybody else? Just kind of looking through the list. We did move a lot of people. Uh, everybody else was mostly young players. Taking a look at the season. We were supposed to avoid relegation. We finished 7th. Not bad. 90% attendance. Top goal scorer, Chris Natumba. A B-minus grade from the board. Biggest win, 5-1 over Ajax in the Dutch Cup. A 2-1 win over AZ in the Arita Vici was a match to remember. And Peter, De, uh, <laughs> Peter, Paul DeVries with the goal of the season. I tell you, I worked with a guy named Peter DeVries and every time I see P. DeVries, that's who I think of. Still only a three-star reputation. No new sponsorship. I think a lot of that will come in a little bit later. Uh, but uh, annual revenue was identical. Uh, we were down just a little bit on broadcasting revenue. Uh, up slightly on corporate and hospitality and competition prize money. And match day commercial was up slightly. Vicario, unsurprisingly, the leading t-shirt seller, Chris Natumba. Paul DeVries, Shedahill, who didn't play very much, 
and Resnick snuck in there. 8,971 jerseys sold. Our best 11, Natumba and Vicario up top, Cervenka and Resnick on the wings, Laval and Olivier in the mid, Barisic, Samir, Gerver, Neteb on the back line, and Case in the goal. Uh, head coach's manager of the year this year, so kudos to me. Uh, club awards, fans player of the season, Vicario. Young player of the season was Gerber. Delcroix was the signing of the season. Paul DeVries with, with the goal of the season. Nothing happening in the competition. And a few records. Five goals in a match by Vicario. Three goals in a league match by Vicario. Nine players of the match. Sets a new club record in a single season by Vicario and Resnick. Highest transfer fee paid at $7.5 million. There's your comments. All right, club vision and expectations. Play attacking and possession soccer, high tempo, work within the budget. All right, so end of next season, avoid relegation. That's good that they're not still not looking for anything else. Uh, they do want to reach the group stage in the Euro Cup. My contract is up next year. Training and youth facilities will be completed. And then the following year, become an established Arita VC team. I think if we have a, a above a mid-table finish again, uh, I think we'll hit that a little early and basically accept that there. Squad dynamics, looking good. Shedahull, I may end up having to move him on just because he, he's not playing a lot. And we really need to make some room for either Natumba or Vicario to hopefully move up. Talking to the team. All right. So, yeah, they didn't like that, but okay. And the group stages. So, ladder stages. I don't like these promises. I never... Every time I try those, they're they're never very good. All right, they are off. Gerver finished second in the Dutch Young Player of the Year. And I am on the short list. So I will vote for that. All right, we've got our new scouting budget, 322,000, which I'll, yeah, it won't quite allow us to scout all of Central Europe. That comes in at $464,000. And initial budgets, 1.27 on the payroll wage bill and 9.57 on the transfer, which is a slight cut. Uh, it was $11 million, so that's disappointing. But we do have uh, about 350000 or so on the wage bill, which we really can't afford, so we're going to have to kind of be very careful with that we've got an offer out on one player and you can see uh spans uh who was on who was on loan with us a couple of seasons back will be joining us permanently and a few other pl uh, players are having contracts expire and we've got hosick is outgoing so that'll be happening here in the next couple of days well here is our first signing of the off season angel vigneron 18-year-old winger cost us $2.7 million. Uh, left winger, he's going to be uh, challenging Serbinka there, and I think that spells the end for Shedahull at the club. Pretty well-rounded, decent crosser, which you know we, we do need better at. He can pass, he can dribble, uh, very good pace and acceleration, all things considered. So very well-rounded. Nothing spectacular, but he's only 18, and he does have some room to grow. And you can see he's a two-and-a-half star current, uh, up to five-star potential. So he'll have some room there to grow, and I think he's a step up for Shedahull. Laval has some interest. I think we can probably let him go. He is transfer listed, so... Hopefully he'll depart, and we can get a little bit of money on him. And unfortunately, I finish second in Coach of the Year. Not bad. VVV Venlo's coach uh, wins <coughs> Coach of the Year there. 
and you know he finished right above us in the table so i guess uh i guess that's um uh, to be expected right <laughs> all right well spans has now joined the club we get a b minus grade and uh he'll fit into the midfield we have already welcomed him on board we've picked up an offer for berardi now he is transfer listed Barassi Berardi. I'm thinking of uh, Gaetano Berardi from Leeds. 80000 That's what we've got him listed at. We'll accept that. Pawsik leaves. We get a C-plus grade on his departure. Utrecht is looking at Paul DeVries. Trying to remember if I have him transfer listed. I do not. He's valued at 1.6. I could let him go. But you know what? We'll offer him out for let's offer him out for 3.2. Just see what happens. Another offer for Barassi. Well, transfer window day has come. July 1st. Always an exciting day. And we have welcomed five new signings to the club. First one is a 16-year-old Jiri Benat. He, we get a B grade on him. He is a young goalkeeper for the future. Four and a half star potential. Already pretty decent. Could probably compete for our backup role. We're going to put him in the uh, probably the U18s and give him a few matches and expect him to be in the B team before too long. 23-year-old Aaron uh, cost us $525,000. He comes to us from Yupin, where he has been uh, for quite a while. I think we're going to move Resnick up top this year. So we needed to bring in some competition on that right wing. Uh, very good crossing, which we needed. Dribbling ability, first touch, pace, acceleration. Stamina is just a tad low, but he had some other skills, including some flair that I liked. So went ahead and signed him. Pavel Bujetsky, a 19-year-old winger. He comes to us from Sigma, where they signed him for $350,000 a few years ago. We get him for $58,000. Uh, he's valued at one hundred and thirty and 4.5 star potential. Again, very good crossing, first touch, passing. Uh, I think he's going to fit in that mix on that right wing as well. Uh, Nick Nick, I'm, I don't know, Nick Meyer, I'm going to go with Nick, uh, cost is $825,000. He's Slovenian, 19 years old. He comes to us from Maribor. Central mid, very good first touch passing, but he can also mark, and he's decent enough at tackling and long shot, so maybe he can bring some goal scoring to the midfield. Four-star current, five-star potential. Uh, I think he's going to be the big signing of the offseason. And Angel Vigneron, a 18-year-old promising attacking midfielder. He cost us $2.7 million, and he comes from Anderlecht in Belgium, where he was playing in their top division. He's only made two appearances, but again, only 18 years old. I am picturing him being a in, in our striker mix, either my number three striker or number two if Resnick stays on the outside. Very good dribbling, finishing first touch. Uh, he can be a false nine, advanced forward, pressing forward, and he plays all those positions relatively well. So, very happy to bring those guys on. We get really good grades in most of them, Bs or better, uh, except for the one, Aaron. We got a C-plus on him. Uh, Tealmans, I'm not looking to loan him out this year. Don't even think I have him listed for loan. So, if we take a look at our team report right now with the new guys coming in, I've moved some guys up to the senior squad, and let's sort by three stars first. Uh, Paul DeVries, Bakario, Resnick, and Krisnik are up there. All right, so he slots in. Uh, Laval, Resnick, Tealmans, Krisnik, DeVries on the right. Shedahal still on the left. We had an offer on him as a couple of offers on Vogel, but he's turned those down. 
Uh, Vigneron slots in over there as well. N Nick Meyer, as we figured, along with Grutunk in the mid. I'm trying to get rid of uh, Laval and Vogel. I think Olivier is going to move to a backup role. And I'm still, we did sign a young goalkeeper. Oh, we we just looked at him. But Militovic probably going to be our our deputy this year. I'm still looking. I do have an offer out on a keeper. I thought I did. Oh, it was. Yeah, okay. Benat. Ben He's 16. So still looking for... Still looking for another goalkeeper, potentially. I'd like to get one more center back. I would really like to upgrade <clears throat> right back, but and I need to move some of these guys pretty badly. So, taking a look at finances, $10 million left in the transfer budget. We have gone up to all, just short of a million dollars. So I'm going to really need to move some players to shave that back and then uh, make a couple more moves. Uh, we'll look at doing that heading into the season. Uh, we do have uh, friendly starting up here soon. And this, you know, it hasn't actually flipped over just yet. So, uh, and there is our youth intake day. I want to look at a bunch of these guys. So let me get busy and... Why don't we go ahead and end the episode there. We've looked at the major transfers that I've already done. Next episode, we'll take a look at final transfers, any new players that I bring in, and we'll also get into our opening match of the new season. FC20, by the way, came in and offered me a job interview again. I rejected it, didn't even go to the interview. So keeping it a single team safe for right now. Let me know what you guys think about that. Am I stupid for doing that? We'll talk to you. Have a good one, guys. Bye.